Alright guys, what I want to show you today on Emlyn in the Mix is a really quick video on exporting that GarageBand into that Logic Pro X on the Mac. Let's do it, it's really easy and I'll show you how quickly using dual screenshots today. Loving it. Here we go guys, you're on Emlyn in the Mix. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is to export out of GarageBand. You've made your loop, you've made your track, let's check it out, make sure it's all good. Yep, so super happy with that. Now all we have to do at this point in time is export it to a Logic Pro X file. So let's do that now. It's really easy is we just want to tap on the My Songs here. Now that's going to take us out to our recent selection. We can also hit Browse here. But if you've got iCloud set up on your Mac and your iPad, the GarageBand folder should naturally be located on the iCloud drive and it actually saves in there automatically which is a really cool feature of GarageBand for iOS and the iPad and iPhone I'm sure. So you can see I haven't actually titled my track, it's just called My Song 2. Um, so basically all we're going to do, and if you go to Browse here and you click GarageBand for iOS, you can actually see My Song 2 there. Now this will correlate onto my Apple Mac computer. So now we just literally open up Finder, scroll down to the iCloud drive, GarageBand for iOS, and now My Song 2, if I hit Preview, we can see My Song 2 there. Isn't that awesome? It's all there. So now what we want to do is, I don't actually want to open it in GarageBand, but I do want to open it in Logic Pro X. So all I have to do now, it's all been saved, is right click it, open with, and boom you'll find your application. Logic Pro X is there, there's a bunch of other applications that it's recommending. I don't know how Notes is going to be able to play it back, but anyway, that's just silly. So, let's click on Logic Pro X. Now this may take a while, so I'll speed up to the screen with it on Logic Pro X. Alright, so I've got Logic Pro X up. Now there's a few things, unfortunately, I do need to mention is that the Model 15D, which is what I recorded in the GarageBand project on the iPad is not actually available as a VST or AU plugin um, for Mac OS. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to choose a different plugin to try and get that nice arpeggiated sound. And funnily enough, I've called the track Arpness. So the track is actually based on that ARP or that arpeggiator sound. So I really have to find something that's going to be close or good. Or what I could do is go back to GarageBand and actually bounce the audio down and then bring it back into Logic Pro X. But for now and for the sake of this video, I just want to show you how easy it is. We've now got our project up here. Unfortunately, Model 15 isn't going to play back. Uh, I did have to download some additional content which was available on the iPad, but it's also available in Logic Pro X. Um, so we should at least have the beat and maybe the bass line. Oh, we won't even have the bass line. Actually, let's just check out what we actually do have. Here we go. It's probably just the beat. But it's the same bit, which is awesome. Now what we could do just really quickly, and obviously there's no such thing as a Model 15 VST at the moment, but we could just literally just pull up, I don't know, anything. Like, um, like probably an easy one is if we just go to Waves. I've been using the Flow Motion's pretty good. We just put the Stereo Flow Motion up. I know it's not going to be the same, but we have all the MIDI, we have it there. We literally just go to, let's go to, for example, load, um, animated keys, or we could go to arpeggiator, which is going to give us actual arpeggiation. Um, if that's a word, I don't know, that's cool. I literally, the first time I've ever said that's pretty funny. All right, so we play that back. There's probably going to be something a bit crazy because flow uses sequence and motion of the LFO and mixing of four different oscillators. So I don't know how this is going to sound, but let's have a look. <laughs>
All right, I really like that. And then I'm just going to use the flow again because it's quite easy to get the sound I want. That's what I like about the flow. Um, go to waves, flow motion. I'm going to use it again for my bass. So just pop it up here. Literally, now we've got two flows. And we go load. And we go bass. And we just whatever. It might. Just the first preset that came to hand. Let's have a listen. Nah, I don't like that. So I'm just going to go through my bass selection. It's sounding really good. I'm actually really loving both of those presets. Even the ARP's probably a little bit loud. Um, so let me just do a quick little mix. Just really quick, actually. I just want to add a few uh, things, mainly a side chain. Um, let's have a listen back to that with a side chain on it. <laughs> The other thing I want to do is, oh, why isn't it not copying, there we go. I just wanted to add a, I'm doubling up on the flow uh, arpeggiator, but I wanted to add some insane effects to that, so um, we just get a variation on the ARP. Um, and I really like, for example, Sugar Bites, either Effetrix or Looperator is pretty cool. So let's just have a listen to that. <laughs> So there you go guys, absolutely hot. This is sounding amazing. Now that has come from GarageBand, obviously using the Model 15 by Moog, which I don't, which doesn't exist as a VST, so there's nothing I can do about that. But let's just listen back to GarageBand on the iPad again. Just so you can hear, like, you know, I was able to sketch an idea down on the iPad. There's a whole point in my videos I wanna show you, you can actually create amazing music on the iPad and then the fact that you can bring it over to some program like Logic Pro X, which is a very professional door, is incredible. So we have a listen, this is what we had. It was a very nice idea to begin with. Um, I've used drummer here and I actually played around with the drummer to get it perfect. Um, just doing some tweaks and that sort of thing. Drummer's really good. Um, drummer exists both in Logic Pro X and GarageBand. But now, as you can see, I've got it in Logic Pro X and I can really mess with it now. Let's have another listen to what we've got here. And obviously I'll show you another video later on with a bigger development on this track. Let's have a listen to what we've got right now. <laughs> I 
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on Emlyn in the Mix. It's been an absolute pleasure showing you this video today. I know it wasn't much, but I just really wanted to show because getting stuff out of the iPad to your computer is so easy these days, and especially if you use iCloud service uh, or Dropbox or any of those cloud services, they will help you be able to move your projects across from the iPad to the main computer. All right, guys, that's it for me on Emlyn in the Mix. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you feel to do so. Till next time, peace out. Boom.